Hi, this is Mr. Go, and uh, welcome back to Chemical Go. Today, we're going to take a look at electron shielding. Now, electron shielding is actually a very simple concept. Let me just give you the definition real quick. It's the shielding effect that uh, describes the decrease in attraction between an electron and the nucleus in any atom with more than one electron present in different electron shells. So what they're saying really essentially is this, that the further away the electron is from the nucleus, the more it experiences some kind of electron shielding or some kind of um, like blockage uh, to be able to sort of see the nucleus. And now when I see, what I mean by see the nucleus, it's these outer electrons right here, right there, right there, and right there are having a lot of trouble seeing the positive charge of the nucleus. And the reason why is because that there's other electrons that are in lower energy levels that are kind of getting in the way. Now, how does this affect other things? Uh, well, let's say I have uh, an electron that's kind of floating out here. And let's say this atom actually tends to, uh, is very electronegative and tends to pull this electron towards itself right here. Now, let's say that electron goes ahead and enters this section right here. What happens now? Well, because these electrons are all negatively charged, this electron is repelling this electron right here. So actually, they're kind of pushing each other away. So that's going this way, and this is going this way. Okay, This electron right here is pushing against this one, and it's also pushing against this one these electrons are going to try to move away from each other, uh, and so on and so forth. So with all of these different repelling sort of motions and repelling sort of actions, it actually forces this energy level to be, uh, these electrons, their actual locations, to be a, even a little bit further out. One, two. And the reason why, again, is because of these lower electrons right here, all sort of pushing away from each other, and so on. So there's all these increased interactions. Again, they're all pushing, repelling each other, and so forth. And because one extra electron comes in there, there's more pushing, more repelling, further the electrons, the valence electrons, get away from the nucleus. All right, and that's really what electron shielding is about. And this is the reason why that if we have a nitrogen atom, and when it gains three electrons, the size of this nitrogen atom could be like this, and the size of a nitride, which is this N3 minus ion, ends up being pretty large because of the extra electrons that it has. All right? Um, now, it also sort of kind of goes in the backwards direction. If we pull electrons out of valence shells, the uh, electron cloud around the atom becomes smaller. And because there's more attractive uh, forces from the nucleus pulling those other electrons from the outside, um, because there's sort of like a net positive charge with the nucleus, it brings those electrons closer, making positive ions smaller. All right? And that's it for electron shielding. We'll talk to you guys soon.